In 1917, in the midst of World War I, the president of American University wrote to President Woodrow Wilson, offering part of the school campus for the war effort. The U.S. Army Corps used 92 acres of the university, which at the time only had 28 students in attendance. The Corps set up chemical testing labs in McKinley Hall, where they developed the most dangerous weapons of the time, including bluicite, which was dubbed the Dew of Death. They had also been building a new center for chemical testing, Mary Graydon, which was not completed by the end of the war. When the Corps left American University, they gave this unfinished building to the school. They also buried their unexploded weapons underground. For nearly a century, officials struggled to find this site. I learned about it the first time when I came here for school back in 1983. I learned about it originally through articles in the AU newspaper. When you see it in the news, it sort of becomes more real, but it didn't change anybody's behavior because we just assumed that things were taken care of and safe. It maybe should have concerned me more, but honestly, I figured I'm only there for like an hour and 15 minutes, like two days a week. We were curious, so we walked around and looked. Everything was carefully cordoned off and you couldn't get right to it. This is, you know, a big deal that people's houses, their backyards had unexploded munitions and chemicals from World War One. In 2010, the Army Corps discovered a pit full of cartons containing mustard gas at a house near the university. In recent years, the house has been demolished in case more weapons are buried there, and the long search for munitions is finally nearing an end. We've had a lot of construction on campus in the last year, year plus, and every time somebody digs out here for water main work or heat piping work, I keep thinking, hmm, are they going to find something? But digging way down, there's been no problem. There is still work going on. The president's house, for example, which is just across the fence from where we sit, they did have um, issues there with the ground soil and the house has been unoccupied for many years now. I don't think it was really that big, big of a deal because it wasn't necessarily still relevant. Um, I could be misinformed, but it's a lot more relevant and concerning. The department, we have bottled water for people because they don't want to drink the water here thinking that it could be contaminated in some way. I don't think it's a problem. AU would get in trouble if it wasn't safe to be back there and they kept having classes there, so I figured it was fine. I guess I would rather that they safely search for it than like sort of just leave and see what happens. Even over a century after World War I, discoveries like this one prove that the war still affects our nation in unexpected ways.